so this comes from Kutaku. Uh, fun fact for you. I don't know if I've ever said this, said this before. I hate Kotaku. Um, for the most okay. part. Wow. Okay. Mostly because 90% of their, of their content is clickbait. Um, and it's meant to rile you up. And I hate when outlets do that because it's just, you know, it's clickbaity. Like I don't, I don't like being riled up. Yeah. So there's that, but this is credible. This is the one you well, mentioned. So I, pulled this it is up. the only one where I found a list. So, Oh, okay. I went oh. to variety first and, and they didn't have a list. So, Oh, okay. I, I see. I see you're one of those guys. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> the Super Mario movie. I, I like to rank people and put them in their place. Yeah, that's what I do. No. Yeah, yeah. Elitist. Elitist for the uh, yeah. win. Um, the Super Mario movie coming in 2022 has quite the cast. It Illumina- does. Illumination's upcoming movie includes Chris Pratt as Mario plus Jack Black. Now, Illumination, they are known for doing Despicable Me. Um, as well as another one that I forgot. So this is a big deal. This is, this is, I mean, this is like next level. Um, we always hear about these companies making, you know, video game movies have been tried before. No doubt. Obviously, you know, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Uncharted is going to be coming out. Monster Hunter has, has had a movie made about it. Uh, what the else? Mario Brothers movie. Yeah. The Mario the Brothers 90s. movie. Uh, what else, Ethan? <laughs> um, Many, many, but oh, man, this is yeah. this is where it gets interesting, though, because I mean, yeah. So let's just run through it. During the Nintendo Direct, Shigeru Miyamoto made a surprise appearance to discuss the full-length Mario movie and the works from Illumination Studios. The release date in North America is December twenty-first, twenty twenty-two, and release dates for Japan and other regions will be announced at a later date. While Miyamoto didn't reveal what Mario will look like in the upcoming film, he did announce the star-studded cast that will be voicing the iconic Mario characters. Here's the list of actors that will bring the Mario characters to life. Ethan, you want to take it from here? Yeah, we so uh, Anna Taylor Joy, the voice of Princess Peach. That's a fit. I mean, if it was a live-action movie, I you put her in there. I, I you know, that's fine. Charlie Day is the voice of Luigi. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, this was spot on. <laughs> Jack Black, yeah. as Bowser. I mean, I'm, I'm you, down. You, yeah, it, that makes it. Yeah, it's brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, Keegan Michael Key, the voice of Toad. Seth Rogen, Donkey Kong. <laughs> Fred Armisen, Cranky Kong, uh, Kevin Michael Richardson as Kamek, and Sebastian Maniscalco as the voice of Spike. And then, I thought it was interesting here, Miyamoto teased that Charles Martinet, who has been the voice of Mario for years now uh, in its Nintendo games, is going to have a surprise cameo in the upcoming movie. This is where things go off the rails, because top billing for this announcement, of course, was Chris Pratt voicing Mario. Why can't you have the guy that is beloved, beloved and known? Why can't you hire him to voice the character that he has already voiced for years? And this is where I have a real problem with this announcement. Not necessarily the movie, because we don't know what it's going to be. But honestly, there are actors out there that are far more capable of sounding like a Italian plumber than Chris <laughs> Pratt. Chris Pratt is not the first person that comes to mind when it comes to Italian plumbers. Here's, you're right. Am I wrong? No, Am I you're, wrong? No, you're not wrong. This is okay. this is so weird, though. This is whole thing. Cause yeah, you got, it's weird. Because okay, like Anna Taylor Joy is the one that makes the most sense. Honestly, you're gonna have Jack Black, Jack Black being like, "I can breathe fire, jackass," <laughs> you know, like, you know, and Seth Rogen's gonna yeah. be all, <laughs> you yeah. know, like, yeah. Uh, there, there's Wait, you he- you hear them. Yeah, you, you hear can do them it. in those roles. Yes. And then whenever I think of Chris Pat, Chris Pratt voicing Mario, uh, we we, uh, we were joking before. It's like, oh yeah, the first thing that comes to mind is like, wait a minute, dude, you already had your animated moment. You were in the Lego Movie. You were the master builder for the Lego Movie. Cool. Yeah. Quiet. So uh, that's my thing. Look, and then it, 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 nothing... it, it all it all comes full circle though. Go ahead, you go. Well, I was gonna say I have no problem with Chris Pratt as an actor. I like him as an actor. He's had great roles. He's gone outside of certain stereotypes that you might put him in and he's done a decent job with other, you know, with showing his chops as an actor, his voice though. It doesn't matter how I try and play it in my head. I cannot put the character 
with Chris Pratt unless they're going to alter the character. And we all know how that went with Sonic. Remember when they first rolled out Sonic? And yeah. Oh, my God. You yeah. know, and, and so I, I come back to that. Are you going to change Mario to kind of match what we know about Chris? It, it, that seems unfair and wrong and unholy. And so, yeah, I'm having a hard time getting there with that top billing. So here's the thing. My, my whole thing comes back to what is the purpose? So obviously Elimination is a multi, multi, multi million dollar studio. If anyone thinks that they're going to strike a deal with Nintendo and then Illumination is going to say like, oh, you know what? We're going to let you guys kind of call some of the, some of the shots here. That's not happening. Illuminate. There is absolutely no way Illumination takes this deal unless they say, uh, we're, do- we're doing this to make money. Um, and we know what our audience is. So, what is going to be the main audience for people that are going to be watching this? My mind goes to six, seven, and eight year olds, and a six yeah. or seven or eight year old is not going to rationalize uh, that Chris Pratt that Chris Pratt is not an Italian plumber, <laughs> because no, they're not. I'm just saying, like that it's not yeah. because what what is going to be happening is effectively because Mario doesn't speak in the games. So not a whole lot. Right. No, he, he doesn't speak at all. They go, let's go. You know, like his voice is iconic, but he doesn't yeah. talk a lot. So, I mean, none of these characters really do. So we could, in, in effect, I don't want to say we would see a retcon because I don't think that's a thing. But I could see them, you know, throwing in a, a uh, almost like a Jumanji type vibe in a way. Of, okay, how do these characters, like, let's say these characters come into real life somehow. Kind of like Sonic. How would they sound, you know, if they got voices? They kind of did something like this already in a recent Mario game. Um, the Rabbids game, where kind of realities got mixed in a way and things kind of started to go haywire. So I could see them spinning that. And if there was a studio that could pull it off, I could see it being Illumination. But it doesn't change the fact that it's weird. You know, it, it is weird. I, yeah. to, it, and it's just, so... They make an announcement like this. There's no way to quantify what this even is because we don't even know the plot. You're so, right. You're right. You know. No, I, I I totally give you that. It's just this is this is the you know we're doing this as a hot take. That's why we're here. Yeah. And hot take me is having a hard time reconciling Star Lord. <laughs> and an Italian plumber. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's well, just not him. Even I could get part way there with Andy Dwyer and it's still not even close. You know? it's, <laughs> I it's fell just, in the it's pit. Been, <laughs> yeah. You fell in the pit. <laughs> yeah. Uh. And I'm just, it's, it, it's gonna, it's a long road and December next year is a yeah. long way away and and we're probably we're no doubt going to see things between now and then and maybe I'll be okay with it by the time it happens well, and but it's just it's just I a have little, a question little for you. little bit if if yeah. Charles Martinet at the end of the movie it's like maybe Mario goes Mario and friends Mario and crew goes back to their world what if he says let's go like what if they honor him in that way like what if that is his cameo it doesn't feel like enough if you're gonna if you're gonna go there a little bit, why couldn't you pay the guy to do the whole thing? But I understand they have to sell this movie, and right now they have to sell this movie with Chris Pratt's in it. I get yeah. it. I he's get the it. new hotness. It, it, yeah, he's the new hotness. Yeah, well, he is. And- he is this generation's Tom Hanks or Harrison Ford, if you want to go that far back. Or you know, <laughs> it's it's he is popular, is and he that's though? why his name is there. Yeah. You he's think widely. he's he's the he's the guy? Sadly, yes. Hmm. <laughs> I, I think so. I mean, um, you, you think about what you know, Paul Newman uh, back in the day. We're talking sixties and seventies. You know, it's that he was the hot commodity back then, and so Chris Pratt has been doing a lot of important movies it, for this generation of movie goers. And so it makes sense to put him in something that, that pop culturally is iconic. And so it makes sense that he's going to be there. On the surface, yes, that f- feels like a great business decision. But sound is 
it, it's a right now for me it's a bridge too far so this is the, it is bizarre though because i thought that uh charles martinet was the same guy who did optimus prime's voice in the transformers movies but that is not no, that is that's no. that's peter cullen yes um yeah i mean <sighs> and, and, and there's a perfect example Transformers was an animated series in the ni- mid early to mid 1980s and they they held true. They brought the original voice actor and that's why those movies are so popular. Is because for as much as possible they put the voice actors that gave them life into those movies. And I feel like this is kind of a this is kind of a wrong step. It feels like from from my chair here. Now, I'm one person on the internet Amongst hundreds of thousands, and I realize that other people are going to see things differently than than what I'm speaking here. But this is my truth. This is my truth. Right <laughs> you're, this is the hill you're going to die on. <laughs> I'm going to die on this hill. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't... Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. And I, I think the reason it makes sense to me is the fact that he did do... Like, the Lego movie's awesome. The Lego movies. Oh, yeah. They're yeah, great. No doubt. Like, no doubt. This is I, I I don't think and I mean Illumination knows what they're doing. They obviously have an idea. It, the thing that solidifies this as it's either going to be awesome or it's going to be horrible is the fact that Nintendo's name's on it. Yeah. It's either going to be a complete hit or people are going to be talking about how much this thing sucks forever. And and anytime Nintendo has been associated with cinema before hasn't exactly gone <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. No, you're you're not wrong. You're not wrong. So anyway, that's so. That's the state we're in right now. There's your hot take. Yeah. There's your there's your punch and your counter punches. All of them. Hello, whatever possessed you to check out any of the content that you saw today, I just want to say thank you so much for doing so. If you check the description down below, you'll see that there's a variety of different projects that I'm associated with. This is Wannabe Critic Productions after all. So I just wanted to say if you enjoyed what you saw today, consider giving some of those other projects a chance as well. There's a lot of stuff that uh, I'm a part of that I, you know, that, that I do. If you were here for me or for someone else that you saw today, um, again, just thank you for checking it out and uh, I hope to see you again. But until next time, I'm Gabriel Fast, and I'll always be the wannabe critic.